Lexi, she probably shouldn't model, to be really honest. I think that her whole body is, like, not right for it. Okay. I think it's quite obvious that this film this week was near a disaster. Today, I'm reacting to a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model where the girls are fallen angels and the photographer kind of becomes aggravated with some of the models and then the judges are mad about the words that the models chose for the photo shoot that they made them choose. It's kind of a mess, so let's check it out. So what we're gonna do today is you are going to be angels falling from the sky and we built this crazy rig for you. You're gonna hang in a harness, which feels crazy. Now, as... I mean, I've seen crazier things. Now, as fallen angels, you guys are falling from the sky. But why? Because you've fallen for a mortal man. That means we got men here today. Oh! You guys, come on out here. Uh-huh. So men wow. meet. Oh yeah. my God. I was like, woo! I was like, yeah, we get some guys. We need some testosterone. Look at Casey is shopping. Look at you. <laughs> These guys look good, don't you think? Mm. So what we want to do is assign an emotion for you guys to portray. Remember, this character is key in making this photo come to life, all right? If this were me, I would. there's not a mortal man I'd be falling for. Get me a gift card to the Nintendo eShop. I'd fall for that. So they're gonna be angels falling from the sky, falling in love with a mortal man as they're falling from, there's a lot of falling going on. That's, there's a lot of, yeah, that's involved here. Quest. Hi, I'm Kayla. Nice to meet you, Kayla. Being a lesbian, you know, I was kind of nervous. I wasn't going to be happy if there was, like, a lot of touching and groping or anything like that. Are we going to take them home? Speaking from my own personal experience and the models I've worked with, this does not happen. The you, models usually sign off on this. I always say, I've said that in the last videos. They know if they're going to be working with a male model, a female model, what the project is for. So this type of situation where they literally just say, oh, and you're going to be working with male models as like a surprise, doesn't, it's, it wouldn't be normal in my opinion. I don't, I don't see any models that I've worked with and that I'm friends with being okay with that. Something, I would not, per, I would never do this to a model and be like, oh, you're gonna model with this guy that we got today. Like, it would just not happen. What is the word that describes what you wanna do? I guess almost fearless. Every angel has like a personality or like an emotion that they're representing. And so mine is like the fearless angel who's like, screw heaven, I'm going and have my fun. <laughs> my emotion would be survival on this show that's what if he asked me mr j was like so what are you portraying i'm like i'm just trying to make it through <laughs> good that's kind of cool what you're doing but are you fearless i don't see fearless in you no not good no you have to have a connection and right now that's not happening come try it again dude Look. she's she's literally being hung from like two pieces of yarn She's trying to balance herself. Photographer's like, there's no connection. Like, she literally just, there's, the only connection that would be possible is Wi-Fi at this point. She, she literally just met this guy. Maybe she's not comfortable with him. Maybe they don't play the same character on Mario Kart. We don't, we do not know the, any of this information, which is important. Come try it again. Look at him. The model, he looked like a sexy version of Jesus. They're like, look into his eyes. I was like, no, that's so wrong. I guess it's more of a Jewish thing. I don't know. OK, that's great. Perfect. Now we got it. That looks great. Hey, Liz, you want to make sure that you look graceful? I had to come up for a second. Whew. That harness was not comfortable. It kind of felt like you're wearing a huge Depends diaper, but with metal. This leg. I love that. I love that reference. Look how high they have her up there, though. She's barely even close to this guy. Like, he can, he can like, touch her, the bottom of her foot with his, his hand. That's pretty much it. She's supposed to somehow maneuver her body, become, like, a professional acrobat. Cir like, she now she's at the circus, pretty much, doing all of this. I feel like this would be very hard to model in. This leg is throbbing. Liz is becoming a pain in the butt. From makeover day to today, everything is a complaint from her. All right, good. But could it be um, she's a pain in the butt because she's in pain? Because she's in like a mini like baby swing suspended from a rig? 
in the middle of the beach? Could could that play a role? I'm just saying that would be my defense. Your Honor, I have nothing more to add. Like I would be flailing all over the place in this. There's no, there's no way I'm staying upright. I'm flipping all the way to the bottom and then just falling to the ground. And the that guy's not gonna, he's just gonna let me drop. Because we just met. He doesn't know, like, why would he risk his life for me? Like, you know, a little, don't feel sorry for me, you guys. I'm doing great. <laughs> that looks great. Perfect. Oh, I love that connection. Right. Kayla is not attracted to this male model. But you know what? If you can make me believe it, you've more than done your job. Okay, got it. Awesome. She Perfect. looks so good. I love, love this look on her. Her hair. Oh, my God. She looks gorgeous. So what was the word that you chose? Seductive. It's a lot of pressure on me right now. It's really important for me to do well because oh, I just like want to get out of the bottom. I feel like right now I'm like hanging on by a thread. All right. Maybe if they were a bit lower, they seem like just so far from the guys, you know? I don't know. But maybe it's better that they're further away from them, to be honest. The further away, the better. Is that what you do when you're sick, doctor? I was just gonna ask the exact same question. Sarah definitely didn't bring her gay game to set today. It's like, ooh, yes, seductive, oh. Just try and relax a little bit more. That's too relaxed now. That was a little bit too, like, floating in space. Forget it. I think the beginning was better. Why do I feel like she took all of that personally? She's like, forget it. You don't have, you just don't know how to be a fallen angel falling into the arms of a man. You, when you show a defeatist attitude on set as a photographer, the model kind of picks up on that energy and they're not gonna perform well with that, in, in that environment. Notice how the photographer was like, I think the beginning was better. You mean the part where you didn't give any instruction and the model was just doing her own thing, okay. Glad that we're on the same page here. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> I'm from Palmdale. What food? Oh, hold on. You're just in shock. You were in the football team? Yup. You model? Yup. That is so funny. This is such a small world. Jane, if you want a boyfriend, Christ, that's what you do. <laughs> Woohoo! Every now and then I notice Casey would accidentally reach lower and lower and lower. I'm like, really, how low are you about to go? That looks um, as low as you put her. Like, you, you're the one literally controlling the height of the ring. He's like, she's so low right now. I'm like, yeah, physically because of this setup that has her harnessed in at a particular height from the ground. That looks great. Woo! Sha! Is she for real right now? Come here! Casey's totally flirting with Sha, and the funny thing is is that she's always the one saying how much she misses her boyfriend. Why'd you leave like that? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Casey was out of control, so we were all making fun of her. Okay, well, I hope I see you. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, I just have to say, this is kind of unrelated to the photo shoot stuff, but she, Casey already has a boyfriend, so they bring a male model from her town to model that just happens to be from her town. And they ha it seems like they're bringing in a lot of male models for this season, right? Interesting. This is not a coincidence. What are your theories? Do you think they, they did this purposely? Like they brought in the male models to create that drama? Of course they would. They If they know the girls have boyfriends, they'll bring in the male models and try to buddy them up with them. Like that's no surprise. That would be no surprise to me. Remember you said hopeless. It actually looks kind of like elongated like an angel. A little bit up your chin. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I love that. You are amazing! Yay! How are you feeling, by the way? I'm feeling good. You your know sister, what, I'm Tara, missing. how do you feel about I'm that? I miss her. I do. But I knew sooner or later it was going to come down there. It feels kind of long. Why is he asking her that right before the photo shoot? He's really trying to get the, the tears going. He, like, waits before the photo shoot to ask her personal questions. So how do you feel about your sister being kicked off and eliminated and you're never going to see her for the next few, like, months? I don't know how long the show is. He's like, I waited until, I wanted to ask you this right before you, you go on. I felt like now is the time. This is the perfect time for me to ask you that. And maybe, and here's the thing. Maybe I am looking too much into it, but just knowing the show and how 
and I've heard from models from the show that they are prompted with personal questions before certain things and that kind of gets them emotional. So that's what that's the only reason I'm bringing this up because I know that because people have told me so. But that's just alleged to, in my opinion. I don't know for, for certain, but this is just completely my theory. It feels kind of lonely without my sister here, but it's okay. I'm gonna win this competition, you hear me? Yes. It's, it's really quite stunning, the body language. It's great, fantastic. Yeah, gorgeous. Chris found a way. She became Beautiful. this otherworldly, soft, feminine creature. You're awesome, perfect. Beautiful, Jane. That was so good. That's really great, beautiful. Look at me. Good. So good. Yeah, can we try something totally different? I actually don't believe this connection at all. Gotcha. You need to feel it. That's beautiful. Okay, good, we got it. Ah. How you feeling, Wing? I was really like uh, staring at these the whole time. I was like, really? Uh, I haven't really had much experience with dudes, so I was kind of nervous. See, that's what I'm saying. Like some, like these girls are fairly young. They're maybe they don't have experience with that. Maybe they're uncomfortable or just don't want to do it. So. That's why I said like bringing in male models like this. I don't. I would. I would not do that as a photographer. So I was kind of nervous at the beginning. Nice. And this is really good. Keep your legs like this. It's pretty. Really good. I love the body. Line. It looks great. Yeah. Once I actually stepped out there, I was like, this is all right. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay. Good. She's so cute. Good job. I imagine that's that's very hard to do, especially in the harness. So I think she did great. I feel like I got lucky that I didn't go home. This time, I knew I really had to give it 100%. You know when you do this with your foot the way it is right now? Yeah. It looks really big and like, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Every time Lexi steps. I would never tell a model that. What was the point of that comma? She's like, I just want you to know that your foot is large. Have you ever heard of Bigfoot? That's what I have. I had a visual in my head. This photographer, like one second, she's like, yeah, beautiful. I'm like, okay, great. And then the other minute, she's like, you're a big foot. I'm like, <laughs> I just need some consistency here. Just some things, in my opinion, you just don't, they're, they're, they are better left unsaid and unthought. But if you're going to think them, just don't say them. No. Lexi's foot is under attack. Okay. Yeah. Every time Lexi steps on set, she lets me down. And again, now you're losing your foot? Okay. Like, put your foot around like that. Yeah, let me, oh my god. Lexi, she probably shouldn't model, to be really honest. I think that her whole body is, like, not right for it. OK, perfect. So that's a wrap, everybody. Yeah! yeah. Um, who are you to say who should model and who should not model? You're just a photographer. What are you, the model? You're the representative of all models worldwide? She's like, you can model. You definitely should not model. Yeah, just do something else. You should garden. You should not be a model. She says Lexi's body's not right for it. Do you want to elaborate? Would you like to elaborate? Go. I'm waiting. What was the What was the first one? The foot. The sandy foot. Okay. What else? So you're not gonna. Okay. No bullet. You don't have a list or anything that you want to share with us. Maybe like a. Google Doc sort of thing we can like share and contribute. No, you have nothing. Okay, that's that's what I thought. You know how many people told me that I will I won't do anything. Uh, being a graphic designer, people told me how are you gonna get a job in that field. Oh, you're gonna go into graphic design. How are you gonna make any money? People literally looked down on me for for saying I want to do graphic design. It was, it, it just made me feel like a peasant. I literally felt like nothing. P people never believed in what I was doing. I believed in myself. I knew this is what I love to do. And I just kept going with it. I really don't care. I didn't, did not care what people thought. I just kept going. I was really motivated. And I, and I, and now I'm doing it full time. And I absolutely love what I do. I would have not gotten this far had I listened to all those people in the beginning who doubted me, who said that I couldn't do it, who said I'll never get a job. I'll never make money. It's not sustainable. You'll, you'll, this can't be like your full-time career. Um, you should, oh, what's your, but what's your real job? That's what people would ask me. What's your real job? What do you, but what do you really do besides photography? I'm like, no, that's my thing, photography. But again, people just didn't take me seriously. I didn't care. I did what I loved. So what I'm saying is don't listen to people. You put in the work and you're going to see results. If you're passionate about something, go for it.
I support you and you don't need anyone's validation or approval to do something. That's what I'm going to say to all you people out there who, who think, oh, maybe I can't do something. Yes, you can. You can do it. Just put in the work. You will see results. Like imagine Lexi watching this back after the show. Like I really hope that she continued to do whatever it is that she loves to do, whether it's modeling, whether it's something else. This is the second judging, but the third. Oh my God. I'm just going to say Tyra looks so cute. I love the hair. I love her makeup. She does look gorgeous. All right, Liz, so you were a fallen angel, and what was the word that you chose to portray? Powerful slash victory. Okay, let's see your best shot. Whoa. In my opinion, I feel like they, they make the girls choose a word to portray just so that they can criticize them on something extra. Like, if they had a good picture, they can still be like, okay, well, you don't look like you're hypnotized. Or, you know, it's just another element that they can, they can roast, in my opinion. I love the softness of this photo. She looks gorgeous. I feel like they could have done it without the, the male model, in my opinion. But her pose is absolutely beautiful. Only thing, I would have just had her, her hand show. But I just, she killed this. This is a really, really good photo. I think your face shows more power. I've worn those harnesses. They kill. I can't tell you're in pain. For you, I think it's a very good beginning. Yeah, thank you very much. Even Tyra says, I can't tell you're in pain. She knows that it's painful herself. So when Liz was like just literally making a statement about the harness and whatever, like they say that, oh, like you're complaining. But even Tyra says like, oh, I know you're in pain. I used, I was in the, well, she didn't say I know you're in pain, but she said, I can't tell that you're in pain. Uh, and I've worn those harnesses before. So what I'm saying is Liz had every right to complain. Keep complaining, girl. <laughs> oh, this is a, these are cool pictures. I do love the photography. It's very soft. The tones are great. It was very nicely post-processed. It's wonderful. I really love this close-up shot too. I kind of like the close-up more than the full body. Up next is Esther. I don't really understand. Okay, what, why would they choose this picture of her? It looks like a test shot. It looks like, come on. Why did you guys choose this? Clearly not one of her best shots. I don't really understand it. I kind of understand where you were going with it. It looks to me like a still from a movie, but at the same time, it's not cinematic because the male model's doing nothing, really, but he looks genius. Esther, your face was like this in every single shot. It was then like show us. Show us, Tyra. I'm waiting to see the gallery. Let me know when you upload it because we all know that there are better shots than this and that her face was not like this in every shot. I mean, the girl, she's being strung up in a harness. You think she's going to be like this the whole time? Come on, let's be realistic here. I will say, I think this may be a test shot just because the sky is blown out. We can see in the other pictures, there's great exposure. The lighting is beautiful. And then for this shot, again, we see a blown out sky. We have a professional setup going on. She obviously is a very talented photographer. So it's like, why would she choose this shot where the sky's blown out? Why would she, like, why wouldn't she catch that with her settings? You know what I mean? Which leads me to believe maybe this is like one of the first pictures that she took of her to like get the settings right. But then that's just my theory of it. I don't know. I see no scorn. I see awkwardness and discomfort. This was the only shot, Jane, that you were scorned. It's almost... Like, you didn't understand what that word was, but then I heard that you guys came up with the words. Yeah. And then the body, it's twisted, and you know, I, I just don't really understand it. Thank you, Jane. I may not know scorn, but I know scarn, Michael scarn. That's right, I'm a cultured woman. <laughs> Notice how there's so much focus on the words the girls chose. I told you guys, like, this is all just another element for them to get criticized on. Like, if the picture was good, they could be like, well, you're not portraying this word correctly. That's just my opinion of it. It's just not fair because it should be just uh, the photo. They're judged on the picture. The word, who cares about the word and what the word means? And if they know what, like, who cares? Why is it? It's not that deep. Take the picture. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, well, blow out the sky, I guess. That's just too much fashion. This is actually part of the shirt, though. They shouldn't have bought the shirt. Oh, well, she did, so. <laughs> what happened to your eyeglasses? Well, I have contacts, thanks to Tyra. Oh, bravo. So, yeah, they're gone. <laughs> this is just. She's like, you shouldn't have bought that shirt. <laughs> and then like they all start snickering in front of her. Like, tell me that's not high school bullying, okay? Tell me that's not 
mean kids in high school making fun of other kids for like what they're wearing. How is this any different? This is just flat. Although you're very beautiful, I love the way you position your feet and your arm, but it's not enough. And I don't want to see this and look at the male model as opposed to looking at you. It looks pretty as a dance movement, but that's not what it set out to be. Thank you, Casey. Okay, thank he you. He said the photo was flat, but it literally is flat because there's, it's a shot backlit, first of all. Second, the sky is blown out. There is really no dimension. He literally just described the picture and he's like trying to blame it on her. I don't know. It's hard. The thing is, it's hard to tell whether this is truly her best photo or not. They could be purposely choosing a bad picture. So it's not my favorite pose, I'll say. And where are her wings? Is she supposed to have wings? Some of them had wings, some of them didn't. I don't know. But. I mean, what's up with the legs? I was trying to make it look like I was taking him away, but... Lexi, not one frame in your entire film looked predatorial. Like, ah! Yeah, I'm really disappointed in that. And when I see the picture, again, I'm concentrating on the guy. And I don't know whether it's because you, you haven't seen your boyfriends in a while, but you've got to remember, you are the star of the picture. You know who was a predator is Casey. To me, that's predatorial. Do you understand the difference? Yeah. You would think this is America's Next Top Creative Writer. Why the focus on these vocabulary words? Because it's not about the pictures. They just want extra things to criticize the girls for. What was with the boyfriend comment too? He's like, you must miss your boyfriend. I mean, who wouldn't? I miss, I miss my freaking cat and she's in the next room. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Not my favorite pose. It is too much like a dancer pose. I don't know. This I don't. I'm not loving this concept. I thought they were gonna do something like the that first close up. They should have just done that. Those were great. This not so much. But like, notice how this background is properly exposed. That's what I was saying. Like the other ones that were blown out, they could have just been test shots, and they were still getting the settings right. Like they were just the first couple shots. That's just my theory, though. I mean, really. I'm just amazed that everything looks like dance movements. Or were you watching each other and copying each other? That was just, at the time, the easiest for everyone to do. I don't want to hear about easy. This business is not easy. One of you is going to be in, in Vogue Italia. You can't afford for it to be easy. Yeah, it looks like an amateur ballet dancer to me. There's no aspiration and no inspiration in the photograph. Why was that such a hostile environment? I'm like, she literally, all she did was pose for a picture. And, but they're all like so, they're so upset. It seems like, oh, how, you, you're not inspirational. I mean, really? Like what you would think is she like robbed somebody on set or something. Finally, in the face, this is the best I've seen. It's still rather dance in the body, but the face but is strong. Thank you. I don't think this picture is strong, but right now the, 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 the word is so weak collectively that now we must grade on the curve. So on the curve, you are rising above the pack. Just know that if you're heartbroken, mm -hmm. next time you need to be broken. crying. Thank you. A broke down. Next Don't worry. We, sh we you guys on the judging seem to do that just fine. I do. I love this pose actually. I think it's very strong. I love the shape in her body. One of my favorite poses. And like, they honestly didn't even need the guy. He looks like he, it just looks kind of creepy. He has like his arm extended, kind of touching her leg or something that just he doesn't need to be there photoshop him out the cropping and composition i'm not in love with for this one there's a lot of like shapes with the hands there's it's a very distracting line like a lot of lines and stuff maybe just had the angle been switched up it would have been stronger i don't feel lust at all to me it looks like he's your son lust is more <laughs> aggressive nails should have been going into his neck here you give me Super future high model. There, you just give me flatness. You're better than this. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Up next is Kayla. I think this whole thing could have been done without the male models. It just adds like this awkward element to it. Like they don't really need to be there. It could have been much stronger. Just the girls with the wings. Maybe even some close-up shots. That could have been cool. Last but not least, Anne. I think it's fabulous. Hmm. Anne's like her her hand placement. I don't like how it's kind of all jumbled up together. It kind of does something like this. Yeah. I don't, and then like his arm is so random. It's just like he's like cut off. The cropping. I yeah. I don't really like the cropping. I mean, it's just okay. 
I think it's fabulous. So do I. Have you ever been this physical with a boy before? Mm -mm. What did it feel like? It just felt like we were acting like a team, basically, just trying to work <laughs> with a... Uh... Go, fight, team, yeah! It's a very sensitive picture. The male model looks weak, but that's good. But that's what we want. <laughs> Finally! Dude, the male model doesn't even show. It's like barely, they like cropped his head off. It's just like his nose and like half of his eyeball. What an invasive question. Have you ever been this physical with a boy before? Why would you ask someone that? Model or not? What, this is just not an appropriate question to ask someone. So before we deliberate, I think it's quite obvious that this film this week was near a disaster. And with the caliber of photographers we have this season, you girls really have to step it up. The pictures were a disaster because guess what? The, they, she didn't adjust the f-stop, that's why. It was blown out, the ISO was too high, like the light was too sensitive to the light, that's why. That's why, Tyra, it was the photographer. All of this critique points to the photographer being the one at fault, but Tyra's like, let's take a turn. We're gonna blame the models. Okay, let's see who goes home, shall we? So Lexi, you chose predatorial. Ka, ka. Sarah, you chose seductive. Lexi, you delivered la. And Sarah, you delivered a ballet dancer. So who stays in this competition? Lexi. They focus on the one vocabulary word that the girls had to, had to choose. And it's like such a big issue. You chose this word. We didn't like it. Like, or it didn't match, or you didn't fulfill the word. Eh, it's whatever to me. You chose predatorial. And then you just gave us not even editorial. You gave us deditorial. Congratulations. Thank well, so to be fair, the sky was blown out, Tyra. Thank you, thank you guys. Overexposed, Tyra, I'm Ms. just saying. We took the California blonde away and we gave you luscious brunette locks so nobody could say, oh, she's not editorial, she's just an LA girl but you got lost behind it. So it is your job to go home and to practice and to push through, okay? Thank you, okay. So this poor girl overwent a makeover for this show for the purpose of modeling and then they send her home right after. They're like, okay, we bleached your eyebrows, now goodbye, out the door. See, go practice at home, you don't need to be here. Even though it's a modeling show, competition. Practice alone in your room.